Welcome back, season three, episode 18, Hurricane Season, baby. So, I got my main man, BJ Scott. Uh, a lot of people on, the, on, on this, uh, this listen, listening to this may already know who this is, but for the ones that don't know who this is, this is Boyd Brothers Operations Manager, Mr. BJ Scott. Uh, so, if you're ever at the terminal and you don't know BJ, make sure you stop in and talk with him. Uh, BJ have a lot of trucking knowledge that he like to lay on guys, and uh, depending on um, what you want and what, who you want to be at Boyd Brothers, BJ can get you headed in the right direction. So, uh, BJ wanted to come on and kind of talk to guys about hurricane season and what should we expect and what should we be doing. And then we'll also get into some safety things that we probably need to uh, talk about with you guys and kind of move forward from there. All right. So, BJ, talk to us about the importance of wh why drivers should stay up to date on the weather. Well, it's pretty critical to stay up to date on the weather. First off, you need to know what you're going into. Um, for, I mean, if you're going into a hurricane, for example, that's what this podcast is about today is the hurricanes. Uh, we need to make sure that we're being safe. Um, we need to know what kind of um, conditions we're going to be driving into. Uh, snow, uh, winter's coming up, so definitely some wintery mix weather, stuff in that manner. Uh, we need to make sure that we're driving into some safe facilities and make sure that the roads are clear or whatnot whatever the whatever the deal may be we just got to make sure that we're, we're we're looking ahead um it's part of your uh, trip planning so just looking ahead making sure that we're staying safe and we know what we're driving into because at the end of the day you don't want to be driving into a hurricane tornado or any any weather mix or anything like that awesome all right bj let's do a little role playing i'm the driver i drive for boy brothers and I'm on Channel 19 and I'm talking to my buddies and they talking about the storms, hurricanes, or winter remix that's going on over the country. And I want to know as the driver, what should I do, BJ? Well, if it's during business hours, uh, 7 to 5, call the dispatcher. That's the first thing you should do. Um, so the dispatcher can then verify to make sure the customer's open. Um, either get with one of us in the um in the operations or with the safety department to make sure that hey uh what what, what in this situation what we should do um if they don't know what to do um or if it's after hours or um during the weekend they need to call driver support uh driver support's going to give some direction probably call one of us and kind of give a some direction and also looking at their ran messages uh, a lot of times safety sends multiple ran messages about the weather updates um what to do uh what to do when something this occasion happens or whatever could happen. Um, just main thing is phone calls, communication, and just talking to um, their fleet manager, driver support, or whoever's in charge at that time. Good deal. Well, I've heard you mention some other departments that uh, you kind of work with to make absolute sure the message is clear uh, throughout the fleet. Uh, throughout the fleet, what do sales and operations do? Uh, to uh, to work together to make absolute sure uh, drivers are safe during the storm? Well, first off, the sales team is going to be verifying that the customers are actually shipping or actually open. Um, so that's what they're going to be doing, first of all. And if they're not open or they're not shipping, then we, we shouldn't be sending a driver down there. Uh, second off, uh, our fleet managers, they're going to be calling these customers to verify that they're going to be open. If they're not going to be open, we're not going to send you in a dangerous weather condition. Uh, that's pointless of putting an unnecessary risk on you guys. Um Safety department, they're going to be sending constant reminders about watching the weather, uh, making sure things are securely tarped. That's something you need to make sure you're doing. If, uh, if you have a loose tarp, especially with hurricane force winds, uh, you can that thing can be, definitely blow off. Um, so you got to make sure that's secured properly. Um, and then just overall, everyone's kind of having the same message of just staying safe. That's the most important mm -hmm. thing is staying safe and making sure that we're uh, making good decisions because at the end of the day, safety is number one priority. There you go. Safety first and safety always. And thank you, BJ. Thank you for coming on, um, giving that knowledge to the fleet and uh, to the audience. Um, what should you do during a storm? What should drivers do during a storm? I think we take things for granted like that sometimes, and uh, some guys get put in bad situations. So um, I'm glad. Thank you for coming on and, and uh, you know, kind of addressing uh, the things that we do for drivers and the things that we want to do um, in the event of uh, a hurricane or any kind of major storm or anything that's dealing with weather. So uh, thank you. And just to kind of finalize this uh, podcast, um, he ended it up with safety because, you know, safety is the most important thing here. Uh, thank you guys uh, that who uh, – Received clean inspections throughout the break uh, safety week. I know it was a break. It was a break check week. Uh, DOT had a break week that ended uh, yesterday. Um, so hopefully everybody that got stopped and got checked, uh, you had at least clean inspection so you can collect yourself uh, that additional three hundred dollars. 
Because as you know, we pay $300 for clean inspections. Um, just uh, guys, we got driver appreciation week uh, that's that's approaching. So make absolute sure you're talking to your fleet managers to get yourself through here during that week. Uh, we definitely appreciate you guys, and we appreciate what you guys do. So um, it'll be a lot of prizes, a lot of fun, and uh, we want to just hang out with you guys and show you how much we do appreciate you guys. Uh, BJ, you have anything you want to leave the fleet with today? Well, uh, leave leave the audience with today? Yeah, I had a couple things. Actually, I forgot to mention. Just You just talked, and it kind of reminded me. Um, in the in event of a hurricane, if we're going into a, uh, like an aftermath of a hurricane, make sure you're filling your truck up. That's very critical because a lot of these fuel stations can either, could have diluted uh, fuel or they could be um, having issues with um, the fueling station not being open. Uh, another thing, you said clean inspection. I've seen a lot of guys get clean inspections, but they forget to sign the bottom of their paperwork. Get got to sign the bottom of your paperwork with, right next to the officer signed. You'll see a signature par uh, part. So when you're sending in, you can get paid. Make sure you're doing that. Driver Appreciation Week. Uh, make sure you're letting your fleet manager know that you want to get in. That's very critical. And if you, for some reason, can't get in, let your fleet manager know. We can get with you um, and see if there's anything we can do to help you out. So we send prize and things like that. Well, again, uh, thank you, BJ. Thank you for coming on, and thank you for the knowledge, man. And uh, to anyone that's watching this uh, episode, you want to catch us, you know, you can you can watch this. You can see it on uh, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, any other social media platform that's out there. And to any driver that's looking for a truck driving career versus a truck driving job, go boy.